Alright, for the small step, you'll want to take a 1x8 smooth um, flat piece and connect it to a gray angle piece like this. You'll want to do the same thing to the other side. And you want to find this shield piece, transparent. Um, on the outside of it, where that um, like gray angle piece is blocking it, it's a 1x3 angle piece. As you can see right here, it's a 1x3 angle piece, but it needs to be kind of hollow. You want to place that back there. And put it aside. Alright, to make this piece, you'll want to take a 2x8 light gray flat piece and attach it to another 2 by 8 flat piece so it should be a 2 by 8 flat piece like gray attached to another 2 by 8 flat piece like gray then what you want to do is do what I did here you want to take a 1 by 4 light gray flat piece and attach to the end like this where it has two sticking out do the same thing on the other side this one's kind of like an optional thing. You could take a 1x2 light gray flat piece or a 2x2 light gray flat piece. How you could just have it all covered and stuff. Or you could do what I did. Next you want to take a um, 1x2 dark gray piece and attach it to the end like this. And this um, 1x2 dark gray piece which comes out at a 90 degree angle which has a 2x2 two two piece coming out um, it looks like this and you'll want to attach that to this like this and for these you could choose like a speedometer piece and put that on the top and then maybe um, something like this another piece and put that at the bottom one Oops, kind of fell off a little bit and attach it like that and then you'll want to take another 2 by 8 piece like this and kinda make the top bone on the sandwich so it should be like this Okay, to make this final piece before you put everything together, you'll want to take a 6x8 piece, or you could do what I did, take a 4x6 and a 2x6, and you want to place that under an 8x8 piece. Or, if you don't have an 8x8, you can always use a 4x8, and then put another one beside it. Next, you'll take a 4x6 piece and put it at the end. And then I put a 1x6 piece right here. This is all light gray. But you, if you look closely, you can see like the line that I made. This is a 1x6 and then a 4x6 at the end. And then you want to place another 1x6 piece at the end like this like that. See how it's kind of sticking out. Okay, you have these one, two, three, four, five, five and a half pieces. Now we will connect them all. Man, I'm talking very weird today. Okay, you'll want to turn this over. Actually, no, you don't want to turn this over just yet. You'll take this piece with the speedometer pieces and you want to connect it like this so it's kind of sticking out like this this should all be flat take this piece with the weird window and place it right there where there's kind of like a slope there and 
how it's just at the end, alright? Then you'll flip it over. Now, I already told you to um, keep these two, two together so you don't really get confused. You'll place these two and place it at the end. So you should have something like this. How this is kind of sticking out. And for your final step, you'll take this piece with the transparent um, pieces and the wheels. You'll place that at the end. See how it's kind of like a puzzle piece? Um, man, I wish I had three hands. So I can show you this better. This piece kind of sticking up a little bit. And this piece kind of sloping down a little bit. Each per each thing is like two, two by um eight, and then two by eight right here. Yeah, that's gonna fit in um very nicely. You'll attach that like this. Oh, um, be aware that when you are attaching it, those dark angle pieces right there. You push those in too because sometimes they don't connect when you push this all together. Just kind of making sure it's all together. And that's how you make the front. Okay, now that you've made the front, and you've made the back and the bottom of the car. What you're going to do next is... You see this um, space right here where it's 1 by 3? And you see this thing right here that's 1 by 3? Can you guess what's going to happen? They're going to go together. So, let me just put this camera down. See, it's like a puzzle piece. It fits. So, I'll just connect that together. And it should look like this. At the bottom. And on the sides and top. Yeah, that's how you make the body of the car. Alright, to start on the door part of the car, what you want to do is take a 2x4 light gray flat piece. And on top of it, you want to have it like this. Where there's four, like, handle pieces. One, two, three, four. That way there's like a space in the middle. See how this is kind of hanging off a little bit? Yeah, you want to do that. Now with the 1x2 space that you have, you want to grab, um, it's kind of glary right here, but let me just take this piece off. You want to grab a 1x1 one one piece, but it has like a hand thing on it. Like this. Now make sure it's this piece and not, make sure it's going like this, not like this, because if you grab a piece like this, then it, your car is going to look weird. Yeah, so you want to have something like this. And then what you do is take a 2x6 flat piece, these are all light gray by the way, and put it like here. So... Um, just trying to make sure I did it right. So those pieces, those handle pieces that were hanging off should be right against the 2x6. And there is a big, like, gap here. You want that to be, um, there. Alright, next is the doors.